Christian marriage. So, Mama, you're welcome, Ma. Thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure having you back again. Good. So, Ma, we can you just with the audience introduce yourself to our audience, uh, let them know who you are. All right. Welcome to everyone viewing and watching from every part of the world. Mm -hmm. By the special grace of God, I am Mrs. Grace Anthony. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Ma. Thank okay, you. Ma, I will want to discuss on the topic of Christian marriage. I, 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 I said Christian marriage because we find out that I'm not saying that other marriages doesn't have issues, Ma. I, I, I stand to be corrected, but I think from the ones I've seen, for what we profess and what we represent in Christendom, we find out that there is a lot of problem in Christian marriages. And some of them intend to cover it up. Some, the reason why they are covering up so that people will not see. Understand? There is something going on in that marriage and um, they don't know how to share the story. They don't know how to, they don't open up. And some of them end up dying in that problem. And this is what they would have opened up, maybe to one or two persons to tell them, this is what I'm going through. And maybe to somebody that can give them a godly counsel, mm -hmm. understand? So, Ma, I want to ask a question on this. What is your take in this um, Christian marriage? I don't know whether you have experienced what, mm -hmm. what, I, what I said. I, I, it's really common. It's really common. So, what is your take in that issue that, that, that is going on in Christian marriages, Ma? All right. So many things are happening in Christian marriage today. Right. And before you start, before people start having issues in their marriage, is number one thing is when you allow a third party mm. in your home. A third party. That means you must not allow you a third must not party. allow a third party. It doesn't matter who not the person even is. your relation. Okay, ma. Mm. Make sure you stick to your husband. Mm. Let it just be you and him alone. All right, ma. For the meantime, you pray together. Make sure the love is there. Okay. If there is love in a marriage, I think love conquers all. Mm. Mm. Like the Bible says, love covers multitude of sins. Mm. There are things that maybe. You, you are happening in, in your heart like a body. When you begin to show love, you will not know how that body will begin. The body will just be lifted. Mm. Because there are things that you need to express. Like, let's look at the life of this late uh, Mwachuku. Mm. Osinachi. Osinachi Mwachuku. Okay. She died ignorantly. Will I say ignorantly? Because she was passing through a lot. She was mm. passing through her a marriage. Mm. And she's supposed to own up. She's supposed to open up. Mm. And she did not open up. She has a spiritual, a spiritual father that should stand in the gap for him for her. Marriage is not a do or die affair. affair. That's my. my pastor used to say, you should not be quiet. When your destiny is being decided, exactly. Exactly. especially mm. when it comes to a life matter, mm. Mm. she died because she refused to open up. Mm. Even when she was almost dying, she had an opportunity for her to open up. She had an opportunity for her to say, "This is what I'm going through." Mm. That the hatred had to even transfer to her own children mm. to the extent that even her children could not even help her to open up that this is what their mother has been passing through just because of what fear mm. they were scared yeah. that if they could say this is what their mother is and they are always going to 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 their spiritual father every sunday at the end of the service they will run to their spiritual father daddy will want to see you and daddy will bless them and allow them to go any challenge no they will just go like that without even open up opening up to the senior pastor that this is what their mother is passing through and it has it is as a result of fear mm. so there are so many things that are going on in the room today from the beginning when the man noticed that the woman is a twin. 
and the twin sister to this late Machuku mm. told the sister, I don't like this man. I don't know what I don't know what you are seeing, but me, the way I'm seeing this man, this man will not make your ministry to be fulfilled. But you know we women. Mm. Okay, instead of her, let, let me chip in this place now. From what you said, uh, concerning what the twin sister yes. said, I don't like. And do you think, as a Christian, before she got married, do you think she really prayed concerning the marriage? And like that, apart from she, she's already gone. Mm. There are so many out there yes. that are going through the same thing. Yes. Does it mean they didn't really pray? Or does it mean that God did not direct them to that marriage? They went into the marriage by themselves. Or they did not pray. Or God asked them not to. So what do you think that is the cause? You know, when it comes to marriage, especially we ladies, mm. we are eager to marry. Mm. Not even minding if God is involved in the decision we are about to make. Mm. We don't care. We are not bothered. Mm. This thing that I want to do, is it God want, is it what God wants for me? Do, right? Or is it the plan of God for me? They will just say, ah, as far as it is marriage, I just want to marry. At least let me be known as somebody that is married. Mm. So we have to inquire. Mm. You have to seek God's face. Mm. So that so many ladies have made mistakes that they are suffering it today. So today, yeah. They are passing through a lot today. Mm. Number one is, they did not ask God, this man that is coming for me, is it the right person for me? When you marry your right person, mm. you don't need to stress. There are some kind of prayers that you don't need to pray again. Mm. Because already you are in the right place. Okay. The only thing you need to put in is that love mm. that, will, that will bind the marriage together that will hold that marriage. Okay, ma. Right. Okay. I want to ask this question: Is love enough in marriage to get into marriage? Like, I want to use you as an example. Why I invited you for this um, particular topic because I know you have seen. I think this will be your 26th year mm -hmm. in marriage. 26 years is not 26 mm -hmm. days in marriage. So you have virtually seen all. Yes. And that's so. I want to ask: Is love enough in marriage? That is to get into marriage because I see some people say, ah, I love him, he loves me. That that is what matters. Let's go into it. You know, sometimes love might be tempted to be, I love her because she's beautiful. Mm. Understand? Because she's attractive. I love him because he's rich or he's handsome. So my question is: for what to go into marriage as a Christian, is love enough? Is it all about love? It's not all about love. Right. There are sacrifices that somebody needs to pay. Mm. There are prices mm. before you can get step into glory. There are stories mm. that you need to tell. That's a story now. Yes, I'm giving the story of my own life now. Wow. There was a time my husband himself, will I say he's a chronic drunkard? Mm. Mm. The thing kept me worried. I was worried, not only that he's just a drunker, he would drink, and then once he just entered the compound, he would just fall on the ground. Mm. I would be the one that would come and raise him, push mm. him until I would push him inside. The thing continued, and before you know it, he started making bad friends. At a point, I said, God, this is not what... I prayed for the pain for. I started praying. Mm. I started fasting. I did not give up on him. Mm. He got done. He said he she started praying. Yes. So he did not um so I've seen people that fight their husband, no. you know, bossing them. Why would you drink? But you say something, you say you would take him in, clean him up, yes. and at a point you started praying yes. and fasting. No, that is not physical, it could not be physical. Yes, mm. it was not ordinary. Mm. Mm. I started praying. I said, Father, I know everything that had beginning and mm. end to it. This thing must end. It will surely end. Ah! I cried to God. I prayed. I cried. It took me like almost three months. Mm. I did not stop my prayers. Once I discovered that he has gone out, 
I put my knees on the ground. Mm. I say, Father, I know you will do it. I know you will do it. I keep on praying. As I'm praying, I'm calling his name. As I'm praying, I say, Father, every unfriendly friend, mm. disconnect him from them. Disconnect him from them. I keep praying that I pray that prayer. I say, Father, there was one dangerous prayer I prayed. And that prayer helped me. I know I suffered after that prayer. But I give glory to God. Because mm. if not for that prayer, mm. maybe I would have been a widow by now. Mm. But I pray that prayer. Say, Father, even if it is this job that is making him, because he, he, he gets to a point that at the end of the month, he no longer gives me money like he used to do. What he will do is just, those his friends, as soon as he just collects salary, they will come and wait for him. He will follow them. This is how they will move out of the house. They will go, he will go and drink again as usual. And then come back. Only him, I will see him. I will still push him inside again. Mm. I say, Father, I know this will not end like this one. Mm. It will only end in praise. Mm. I keep praying. I say, even if it is this job, at least let the job be taken away from him for just a while. If it can just save his life and destiny for me, I will be okay with that. I pray that prayer not up to two weeks. Mm. They, they just stopped him from the job. Mm. Mm. And after they stopped him, he came back home. When he came back, I discovered that he began to stay quiet. I knew that God had started something. I said, what is it? He said, they have stopped him. I say, eh, don't worry. All may be well. I know that a big responsibility have come. I made up my mind. I say, it doesn't matter. I will take up this responsibility. Mm. If that will save his life for me. Mm. This was how I took up that responsibility. When it comes to Christmas season, mm. I will be the one that will buy my children clothes. I'll buy clothes for myself. I'll buy food stock. I'll buy everything. Mm. At the end of the day, when we dress and come and somebody will just rush and come and shake my husband. Mm. In fact, you are a great you man. You take a responsibility of covering yes. him, taking that, uh, you not know, to cover that yes. shame. Yes. At the mm. end of the day, when we go inside, mm. we we'll say, "Oh, look at the way you just remove shame from me." Mm. In fact, you are a wife indeed. Mm. You did. You will tell me you don't. You don't know what you did. Mm. Somebody will just come and salute me for mm. what you did. I say, don't worry, what mm. you did, what I did is what you did too. Mm. It's both of us that are doing it together. Don't worry. I'm not worried about it. I'm not bothered. Don't just worry. I know that things will be fine. And we continued like that. Before you know it, all those his friends, when his daughter became sick, my God, I was expecting those his friends to come around. around. He go to them, all of them turned their back on him. Mm. I told him, I said, and I asked him, I said, where are those your friends? He said, you no longer have friends. I said, you see, when you, when you were drinking together, you have plenty friends. Me, I was your enemy then, but I did not bother. Still, I was still doing what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Because I made up my mind that in this marriage, there is no going back. No going back. Man. I, for whatever, no going back. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what the devil was doing mm -hmm. there. I keep on praying for him. And before you know it, things change and turn around again. Mm. He said, Kai, for all this while, for all these years, you have covered my shame. I, I didn't believe what my mm. husband did. Mm. He went to the market himself, bought me George, mm. bought me lace, mm. bought me hair tie. All this for you. In fact, you have not seen anything yet. He changed almost how many clothes for me. The ones I could not even buy, the, 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 the price he used the money to buy it. Me, I will, if, if you give me that money, I will, be, not, I will not buy it. I will say, I will wow. look at the children. In fact, my life, my is marriage a is a testimony. Wow. Thank so I want you. to appreciate God for that. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you very, very much. Viewers out there, you have heard it. Uh, when you want to get into marriage, um, make up your mind. Now, something she said, she said when he saw what the husband was doing, drinking and rest of them, she 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 prayed a prayer. And but when the man will come back drunk, she would took the man, clean the man up, took the man inside. And what she would she do? She started praying. She didn't do it physically. 
So viewers out there, I don't know what you're going through in your marriage. I think fighting physically is not the option. The next, the only thing you need to do as a woman is to do what to enter into prayer. She said she prayed and she fasted, and God answered. There's something I get to understand. There is no prayer. A woman, a sincere woman. If you see any praying woman, God doesn't forsake that woman. God does not forsake her home. So I want to advise you, beloved sister, out there, brother, whatever you're going through in your home, in a Christian home, whatever you're going through in marriage, just put it into prayer. Well, it doesn't matter the matter, it doesn't matter the case, it doesn't matter whatever it is, God will surely answer you. So God bless you as you put it into prayer, as you back that situation up in prayer, and God will bless you and see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.